Okay, folks. Um, once again, we are dealing with a vehicle that has been smoked in. This is a Ford Ranger, I think, World Track, I think they call it. So it's got a crew cab. A uh, really smart vehicle. Uh, and at one time, it, it would have looked amazing. Uh, but it's been well used, as you can see. Um, and we can clearly see here, now we've removed the rear seating that there are evidence that there is evidence i should say of um of uh, smoking there's a lot of cigarette ash behind that seat okay you'd never know that it was there uh, unless you um you actually pulled the seat out okay and we've also removed the front seating from the vehicle okay and uh you can see that it is in a a bit of a, a sorry state it's been well used i um, mean it is a works vehicle uh, but it's a works vehicle with leather and all sorts of lovely uh, luxury features you'd expect in a car. So um, as you can see here, we, we have, uh, looks to me like a drink spillage. So coffee's probably been spilt down there. And obviously coffee contains dairy and dairy contains bacteria. That will also be contributing to the odour in the vehicle. Okay. Um so we're going to give this cab a complete interior deep clean, okay? Um, removing odours, uh, it's not as simple as throwing an ozone machine in that you've bought from eBay for 100 quid in, in the car and Bob's your uncle. It doesn't work like that. Uh, the vehicle uh, interior has got to be as clean as possible. Uh, and we need to remove the, uh, the cause of the odour, in which case... It's going to be things like, you know, in this case, I should say, it's going to be uh, dairy, bacteria. It's going to be nicotine, tar. Okay, and there's going to be other things contributing to the overall odour odor problem within the cabin. Okay, let's turn our attentions to the seating here. Now, uh, a car valet, uh, nine out of ten of them won't take the seats out. Okay, um, but just look at all the crud in the rail here okay look at all that oh and there's a cigarette butt there okay um all that what you see down there is going to smell bad and it's going to make the cabin smell bad okay so there you go so this is um this is the first stage of this deep clean um there are many stages <laughs> this is just one of them <laughs> so um, what we'll do is we'll we'll get the interior clean we'll come back to it in a bit we'll have a look at how it looks then right this is day three of our uh, deep cleanse on this ford ranger and um so the first day as you remember we had the seats out and we uh we had to give the cabin a full cleanse from uh, from the headlining right down to the carpets because it was in a real mess. Uh, the vinyl seating, it looks like leather, it's not leather, it's, it's actually plastic. But all the uh, all the vinyl seating, it's, it's just either marked or it's got paint on it or silicone or glue or something, you know, it's it's been well used as a, uh, as a work vehicle because that's what it is, it is a work vehicle. Um, and as you can see from all this damage here on the on the door panel, um, it's been well used. Uh, let's have a look in the front part. Um, and removing all the seats allowed me to get all the way around the seating. Okay, and um, there was coffee spilt down the side of the seat, and uh, and uh, and so we managed to uh, clean and sanitise all that. Um, just got the engine running at the moment to uh, to heat the cabin up before the customer arrives to collect. Okay, um, but uh, it's looking a lot better now with vehicles that have been abused, and um, they are showing signs of uh, you know there's, there's areas where they're scratched and scuffed, and that there's nothing I can do with that. Um, 
but the primary objective here was to remove the smell of cigarettes and that's exactly what we've done okay um, we've managed to remove the smell of cigarettes that were very present in this vehicle um, and um, there, there there are um, there is evidence of of, of the, of the of smoking in this car and even things like this here where a cigarette has singed that part of the uh, the headlining and um, we've got some areas here where cigarette ashes uh, has come off and, and melted the plastic it's not a good idea to smoke in vehicles <laughs> because it will wreck them so anyway there you go um, three days uh, cleaning drying and ozone treatment that's how long it takes to achieve these results folks anybody claiming they can do all this in a day is having you on okay so there you have it thanks for watching